Let me greet you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. As the world starts to acknowledge and recognize the importance of mothers, it gives me great joy to acknowledge and show my own personal appreciation to our lovely mothers all over the world today. As I take the next 15 or so minutes to speak to your hearts, I want to speak to you from the passage of scripture that was read earlier, Exodus chapter 2 verses 1 to 10. And if I should choose a topic, I would want to speak about a mother's love. And the particular mother's love I am talking about is Jochebed and her son Moses. My brothers and sisters, motherhood is not the easiest of professional tasks, but it is certainly one of the most important. It is very sad to see how many people disregard their mothers and take mothers for granted. Motherhood is not just restricted or limited to the delivery of a child or children, but rather the delivery is just the climax of a long and dreary process that lasts up to nine months. Oh, one can imagine the many changes and adjustments that a mother has to go through throughout the three different trimester in bringing forth her child. When we listen the news of how a child can kill is our own mother, when we hear children giving up on their mothers, when we hear children refusing to love and be by their mother's side, Oh, it gives the creep to anyone. Many mothers today surely don't get the love and respect they deserve from their children and their children's father. According to Exodus chapter 1 and verse 22, the Bible said that Pharaoh charged that every son or male child that is born of a Hebrew woman should be cast into the river and be killed. Can you just imagine how oh, heartbroken and hurt Jochebed must have felt? And not only she, but all Hebrew mothers that gave birth to a male child. It is never a good thing for any mother to see her child or children in pain or sickness, more so to be hardened, to be drowned to death by fear. Many mothers today have been through some heartbreaking experiences with their children. Many have watched helplessly as death, sickness, disease, abnormalities, to name a few, take over the lives of their children. Oh, my brothers and sisters, there are many mothers who are questioning the Lord, asking if children are indeed an heritage of the Lord, or if the fruit of the womb is still the reward. That's why we have to salute our mothers, because regardless of what their children are going through, despite their children in different ways, our present state, a true mother just can't walk away or give up on her child. Because of Jochebed's love for Moses, 
The Bible said that she was no way willing to sit down and fold her arms and let her child die. No, my brothers and sisters, Jacob must have said to herself, not after all I have been through, not after all those nine long dreary months of pain and travailing, not after all the sicknesses I can't accept my child being killed. Some of you mothers today, your children are in some situation and conditions, but like Jochebed, you need to do something. Don't fold your hands and do nothing. Don't just let them die or be destroyed by society, our friends. They are your very pain. They are your gift from God. Pray a little more, mothers. Give a little more. Show love a little more. The Bible said that Jacob had love for Moses caused her to come up with what is considered her safety plan. Firstly, the Bible said that she hid him for three months can you imagine after giving birth to Moses and hearing of the decree that every male child should be killed, she must have said, I'm going to try my best to hide him. But sadly, after three months, the Bible said she could not hide him any longer. So she came up with plan two, or the second plan, which was to what? To Build a bulrush, an ark in which he could put him to be rescued in the river. The Bible said that she put him into the ark and placed him at the bank of the river. No doubt she had no clue what would happen, but she was not willing to just sit by and give up her child to be killed by Pharaoh and his men. She put them at the river. But she didn't leave him just like that. The Bible said that she called her daughter, who is Moses' older sister Miriam, and said, I want you to give watch. I want you to watch daily what is taking place with your brother. And the Bible said that Miriam watched from a distance. Oh yes, Jacob came up with a plan, but she had no idea whatsoever how the outcome would be. My God, I pray that all mothers at the reach of my voice, you will not just sit by and watch your children pass away or just be destroyed by society or influence of others, but you'll come up with some plan or you will take a stand and win them at any cost because you know they are your gifts from God. Oh, thank God for that river. Oh, praise God for that river. That very river that was to drown or kill the baby Moses. The Bible said he was put into a little ark and he sailed along the river. The very danger, the very thing that was to kill him, he sailed through it. There are many of you mothers, your children are going through some rocky times. Even you as mothers, you're faced with situation in your life that you can't manage. But God is going to let you sail through your storms. He's going to make you sail through your situation. He's going to let you float to the very situation that you believe would have killed you. It will not kill you. The same river will lead you to your destination. Oh yes, it was the same river that the 
Egyptians were using to destroy the evil children, but God worked it out that the very river, hallelujah, that should have caused the death of Moses, it led him into the arms of Pharaoh's daughter. Yes, Pharaoh's daughter. She came to the river with her maids and while her maids were parading the banks of the river, the Bible said they saw the hawk and they pulled it from the river and took it to Pharaoh's daughter. And as she opened it, the child cried and she fell in love with him. Hallelujah. Yes, my brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that Pharaoh's daughter should have been an enemy to all Hebrews, yet she fell in love with an Hebrew baby. Ah, glory to God. Isn't it amazing how God will let your enemies stay with you? Yes, God will use your very enemy to pave the way for your success. Pharaoh's daughter fell in love with baby Moses and she decided that she wanted him to be her home. But she don't understand. She didn't understand what it was to bring forth a child. She didn't understand what it was to breastfeed and to care for a child. So the Bible said that she inquired among her maids how oh, she can get someone to take care of the child and praise be to God. There was Miriam. Miriam heard the conversation and she stepped in and she said, I know of a woman who can be the maid servant of this little boy. Oh, glory to God. Miriam went home and she came to Jochebed and she said, Mom, I want to report good news. Yes, baby Moses flowed down the river. But on his way, he met upon Pharaoh's daughter. I can just imagine the expression and joke of that face when she heard about Pharaoh's daughter. But Miriam said, holy man, she loved him and she wanted a maid for him. And I told her, I'm going to get a maid. This is your opportunity to see your son again. Hallelujah. I believe God is going to give some mothers the opportunity to see their children again, to be reunited with them again, to be loved by them again, and for them to share in the joy that they want to share. Joe Cobain was excited and happy to get the opportunity to see her son. And not only to see him, but to nurture him, to train him, and to be by his side. She got the chance to instill all the Hebrews' qualities and cultures and values in her son. Mothers, listen me good. No matter what situation you're going through today, God is going to turn it around for you. That river that was meant for harm and destruction of the baby Moses, it was what God turned around and used as a channel through which he came to Pharaoh's daughter and reached into Pharaoh's palace. Listen to me, what the devil meant for evil, God will turn it around for your good. Hear me, brothers and sisters. Listen to me, mothers. You don't have to keep on weeping. Today, your breakthrough is going to come. I believe somebody needs to see their son again. Somebody needs to see their daughter again. Somebody needs to hold their child again. God is going to bring the opportunity at your door where you will reunite with them. Whatever you're going through, God is going to make a way for you. Mothers, whatever your children are going through, continue to demonstrate your love. Continue to love them endlessly. Continue to be there for them. Don't give up. 
Don't just fold your hands, but come up with a plan. Pray a little more. Fast a little more. Give a little more. But don't just sit back and let the enemy destroy your children. They are your gifts from God. And God is going to bless them before your very eyes. Oh, praise be to God. And whatever you are going through as a mother, God is going to give you the strength to be able to nurture them. The understanding and the wisdom and the love that is necessary. The provision and protection that is needed for your children. God is going to provide it for you. And whatever situation you are going through, God is going to turn it around for you today. He is going to make a way for you today. You shall not die, but you shall live and declare the word of God. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day.